602 calling the meeting of the weight select board yeah. order. Thirtieth. First order of business review, discuss and vote on the meeting minutes from April 9th and April 23rd meetings. Any comments? No comments. None for me. I uh, will vote on both at the same time. I move to accept, sorry. I move to accept the meeting minutes from April 9th and from April 23rd. I'll second. I'll second that. Okay, uh, no further discussion. Joyce, vote. Aye. Julie. Aye. Aye. Review, discuss veteran payroll warrants on April 25th. Didn't comments? they include those in the form, in the package? Did they? Yeah, no. No, they didn't get the Oops. package. <laughs> I signed them, I looked at them, I didn't have any questions, but. Okay. Mm. No questions for me either. Just, yeah. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll leave that open if anyone, once we get okay. get them in a packet, okay. we we'll go back. Add to the next agenda. Yeah, just to... yeah. Uh, an appointment for 615, but Sylvie's here early, so we will hear from Sylvie on the digital equity line. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. You all. Um, so, just a quick update um, on grant applications. Uh, first, uh, just wanted to let you know that um, we submitted uh, uh, our MVP action grant application for the pollinator focused habitat project that we all talked about some time ago. Um, and then, also in the past few weeks, uh, we submitted a uh, an application to the Division of Ecological Restoration for. Um, work to continue on the Christian Lane culvert for permitting and final designs. Um, so fingers crossed for those two projects. Um, and then I just wanted to um, uh, briefly talk about the digital equity plan, which um, you may recall, uh, we have uh, been working on a digital equity plan update in tandem with the um, uh, comprehensive plan for the town. Um, so Ted Harvey and Nicole Krantz from FERCOG have been um, diligently working on our digital equity, the digital equity piece of that. Um, and they conducted a focus group and interviewed um, some residents. And so uh, in your handout, you, you'll see that um, they have uh, from that process come up with some goals and also a vision statement. Um, I'll just quickly uh, read the goals. Uh, so the first one is fast, reliable connectivity to ensure residents have access to the internet uh, to the internet connectivity they need and can afford that co is consistent with adequate and reliable speeds. Uh, second goal would be selection of service, um, work to increase internet service provider competition so that residents have more choice in their internet plan and are better informed about their options. And then number three is the digital resource navigation, uh, support Waitley residents access to public digital equity assets, resources, skills and training, and especially those who need more support navigating digital systems. Um, so uh, these goals will inform the plan, which is going to be drafted. Um, and uh, I will be posting the plan for um, a two week period of public comments. So you can keep an eye out for that online. Um, and then after we have that um, two week period, um, we'll, uh, Ted and Nicole will be integrating in any comments um, and feedback. And then we will um, hopefully on May 28th have a draft for you all to look over and vote on. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that that is our timeline. And um, if you have any questions, um, or if anyone in town has any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me about it. Okay. Great. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Sylvia, if you, if you can stay for just a second, I yeah. do have a couple, couple of things. Sure. Further down on the agenda, we've got uh, discussing cable license renewal with our cable license to come up. How does this play into our cable license? Um, renewal and those negotiations, how could this play in? Um, I am not sure. I um, I don't know um, what is happening with our cable license agreement. Maybe, maybe Joyce can help with this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've 
gone through two cable licenses with the town um, at this point. Um, it only refers to Comcast, first of all. And uh, it's uh, during those negotiations, we can do things like ask for extensions of the current network to the very few houses that do not have Comcast service at the moment. So that's a very Comcast for, you know, centered kind of thing. And uh, at this point, they're the only provider we have who's kind of wired onto our telephone poles. Um, I, I think the digital equity plan, I hope they talked about having competition. Um, that's something we don't really have right now. Um, so uh, it's mostly it's related to one provider. And um, we can't probably get any other cable providers um, interested in coming up with a contract for us. <laughs> um, so uh, we'll probably uh, just see what we can, what's the best deal we can get with Comcast. But it's much more related to the cable end than it is to the internet. We don't get to negotiate rates. Um, we can mostly negotiate um, how much they return to us to use for our public access stations. Okay, because I think one of the goals is that reliable connectivity, and that has to do with the internet speed. Comcast being the provider provides the internet for most of the people, and you know, all probably a handful of people in town. Uh, you know, just if there's anything we can do in those negotiations to make sure to sort of to mesh into these digital equity goals, I don't. Don't know if there's anything that can be done, but yeah, we, we, and, we do we do have these two things that both relate to internet connections and if yeah. anything, if uh, there's anything to be done in the negotiations that tie in and aid the digital equity plan, that would be good. But yeah, okay. I and agree. Sylvia, the other thing I have, I'm going to bump up on the agenda from old business into, since you're aware of this, is the exit 35 market analysis, which I don't recall seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I might not have sent it on to them, but I had I had thought you had sent it um, because you did send the EV assessment. Right. And I thought maybe the exit 35 assessment also went to the select board, but I, I don't think it did. So that was my error. Um, and I can uh, rectify that pretty easily, but not for tonight's discussion. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, we, yeah. Go yeah, ahead. I'm sorry, Sylvie. Remember if I um, had sent it to you all or or um, just to the study group, um, but the study group actually hasn't, uh, we haven't had an opportunity yet to meet to discuss that, but we'll be doing that in short order. And, um, and yeah, uh, um, I'll be oh. curious hear what you all think of that as well. Okay, so we will just put off that okay. discussion until yeah. whatever meeting it's ready. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's it. The only other thing we would have for you is the scheduling Weston and Sampson, which we, you don't need to be here for. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank right. you. Thank you. Okay, new business, Memorial Day services, flag raising by a select board member. I have done this the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, Joyce, when are you back in town? I'll I'll be back in town for that. You are. So I'll be happy to be there. Yeah. Uh, uh, when there's more than one of us there, we often just we all stand by and watch one of us put it up the floor. Okay. Put just up just... the flagpole. Okay. So I, I would um, think whoever is there and I can certainly be there this year. I haven't been able to be there, I think, for the past two years. Yeah, so. I, I will be there. Um, I expect I'll be there as well. So, so yeah. I, I just think we, we will need to give a name uh, to uh, well, I'd say the let's green let the chair is organizing. I'd let the chair do it. If I mean, all other things being equal, that okay. Then, and um, then I think I, that I will happy to do it. As you, I, you know, as I said I've done it the last couple of years, but we'll be happy to do it again. Yeah. And you're right. okay. Uh, next senior center exercise class at Town Hall newspaper oh. article. 
I can comment on the uh, exercise class. We were approached informally at this point. I don't believe that Jessica's received an application yet. Um, to, to use the town hall for an exercise, their usual exercise program. Mm -hmm. um, but it all kind of ties into the whole other discussion of using um, the, the current um, Holy, Holy Family Church area and which we've had an email on. Um, so I don't know, Joyce may actually have more information on this than, um, or can share more information on this probably as the liaison. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are in the process of um, renewing our lease with the church for the um, they're kind of, uh, I want to say event space. It's like a gymnasium, small gymnasium room that we use. Um, the senior center rents Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings. Uh, and they do some of their um, community meals there as well. Um, they uh, lease is up the end of May. And to renew it, we had to go through an RFP process. And oh, it says my interconnection. Uh, we don't have it back yet. You're still talking to us. Yep. With hiccups. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you all froze. So I oh, thought I figured okay. I wasn't coming uh. through. Okay. So, um, all right. So we're in the middle of this um, uh, lease renewal and they want to put something um, in there so that um, uh, they don't, I, they haven't really given us wording yet, but the bottom line is they they want us to basically be neutral on things that are um, uh, uh, related to church teachings. I mean, it's that's very vague, and and because they haven't got the actual wording in front of me. But what it comes down to is they don't want us advertising in our newsletter about um, the senior center events related to LGBTQ uh, seniors. And we have events. We don't have those events at the church. We have them at our other location. Um, but they would like us to be neutral, which I th <laughs> think is being interpreted as we're not allowed to advertise that in our monthly newsletter. And... Um, that's looking far at, from neutral. Right. That's okay. I, <laughs> Says so, a member of that community. <laughs> as well, see what I'm not sure there is a neutral here. That's uh, one viewpoint. So I, I'm, I'm interpreting. Yeah, I'm interpreting what other people are are saying here to some extent. Um, so I. Uh, when when Jennifer went and reviewed our you know two hundred and fifty thousand plus dollars worth of grants, we're not allowed to discriminate, um, mm -hmm. even if we wanted to, and we don't want to. We really couldn't comply with this particular request. Um, so the board of oversight is going to meet uh, Thursday afternoon. And uh, I would not be surprised if the result of that meeting was that we know we, we just let our lease end at the end of May and not renew that lease. Um, the se senior center staff are looking at how that would impact programs. The most obvious one was an exercise program. And if that could be moved to, to the Waitley Town Hall, that would really help. Uh, then be able to continue the programming that they were carrying on at the church. Um, I mean, That's... there's not a lot of storage space at our town hall. There's some things that uh, that that wouldn't be perfect, but it would certainly be do doable. Um, so that's kind of where this uh, senior center exercise class at town hall is is coming from. I mean, we we desperately need our own space, right? And we've known that for a while. Um, so this is kind of a, just a, another, hopefully temporary, but probably temp 
temporary, like a year or two, not temporary, a month or two sort of thing, given um, the, the places that we're looking for space. So I hope I didn't get anybody into too much trouble there. <laughs> no, as a, as a matter of fact, we've had a letter uh, or email date from Jen Remillard from last Wednesday yeah. in which she states categorically, we will not be moving forward with the lease agreement. So I think she's yeah. anything. Yeah. I was a, I was trying to jump on the board of oversight. But yeah. But yeah, I, I I would not be surprised if I mean that's not a boo decision yet. Right. Because we haven't had a meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. But I believe Jen has discussed it with all of the boo members. And that is why I, that that's why I, I'm just giving you my opinion of what I think will happen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, no, I, I don't, I, I don't doubt that will happen. It's just that yeah. you know. Jen seems quite adamant on the subject, and I've got no, oh, no yeah. reason to believe the Board of Oversight will be any different. Yeah. I... Uh, so, do we okay. need to I don't think you need to do take any action for, to, um, to approve use of town hall for this? Well, there'll be a, um, there should be an application coming okay. forward. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And as long as yeah. you folks feel comfortable with that and allowing them. It would be daytime, so we right. don't usually have too many activities there during the day, mm -hmm. mostly evenings. Um, if you're fine with it, then I can sign up on the application. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think we're fine with the. I, okay. My only question is whether we yeah. need a formal vote or not. I wouldn't no. think so. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I think the, the town hall policy, I think, says it has a procedure and that we're not necessarily in the loop on all of this. Oh, right. Then we don't. Something more um, on a regular basis like this. I'd like it, you know, I think we feel more comfortable bringing it to the select board and letting them know about it. The one time um, visits, you know, someone wants it for a family gathering or something, I feel okay doing those. But mm -hmm. if this is a little bit more long term and we'll commit more, commit on a regular basis, I kind of wanted the select boards <laughs> okay on that. Oh, yeah. So. You have it. Sounds good. <laughs> and also along that same line right. is the uh, there was a my turn in the the paper from some members of the senior center. Yeah. Um, concerned with the same things we've been discussing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I think we're good with the senior center. Uh, table license renewal we essentially talked about earlier. Unless there's anything else. We need to add to that. Yeah. Um, you might want to consider who will, will Joyce still be the main person to handle those negotiations if she would. She's done. I, I'm she's happy done the to previous two. If you're willing to take it on again. Well, if there's somebody itching to get into the cable advisory, the cable <laughs> license, then I I don't see any itching going on over there. Okay. <laughs> <So> <laughs> You're so uh, good can... at it. We'll, we'll show <laughs> the experience on this I'll one. I'll that. That's okay. 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 Uh, town administrative selection announcement. That uh, was kind of put on the agenda because we weren't sure if you were voting last week. And okay. the agenda so, kind of got mixed up a little okay, bit. So <laughs> okay. Let's, let's put that off. We've got an yeah. executive session at the Thank end. Where yeah. We'll talk about specifics. Then we will come back after that for a, a vote on uh, uh, EV assessment report uh, scheduled May 17th or 28th. I should, anyone have a preference on date for when we hear from Weston and Samson on the Tuesday? Actually, it should um, be the 14th. Oh, 14th. Okay, well, it's the 14th. Yeah, it does say, I think it's the 14th or the 28th. Okay, so 14th or 28th. Right. Either one. Either one. I, yeah. I'll I, be there in I, person for the 28th. So, oh. so you want to go with the 14th then? Because <laughs> you like staying up late. <laughs> no. no, actually. Oh, because I love staying up late. No, and, and also the 14th is the like the, the day before. And it's my second to last day here. Um, so I think I'm going to be like, like that anyway. So, um. Okay, so I hear a preference for the 28th. 28th. I'm hearing a pre yeah, you're hearing a preference okay, from so me, but you guys can you know, vote the other way if you want to. I'll so understand. We'll try to schedule Western Sampson for the 28th. If by some chance they can't make it that day, then we may have to fall back to the 14th. But okay, 
but it's staying for the 28th. And I see Sylvie's still on. Did she, did you get either of those dates with Weston Sampson? Um, I, uh, I sent them a message asking if they were available those dates. I haven't heard back. If we have a preference for the 28th, I'll let them know that. And um, okay. I think David Pomerantz is our local person with the team. So hopefully he'll be free and, and can join us that night. Okay. okay. Yeah, so let's aim for the 28th okay. and go from there. Okay, exit 35, we have done. Liaison updates. Uh, I've got nothing. I've been busy with them, administrator search okay. stuff. I have nothing for the water mission. Um, well, my my got done earlier. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so that's... Uh, Lynn, town okay, just a quick, um, as far as reviewing of pending items, I think we've reviewed all those pending items already. Uh, the assessors update, the new company started on Monday. We, they introduced us to uh, Stephen Casey, who's going to be our kind of assistant assessor from the company. He's getting his feet wet with, you know, passwords and changing all of that kind of stuff so that he... Uh, can hit the ground running. Um, I'm, they were still working out dates when I left the meeting, but I think he's gonna be here Wednesday mornings. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna be Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday morning or Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning. Then he will be in the office. So two, it'll, be, it'll be two half days. Half half day, one. Yeah, yeah. And he's started in Conway as well because they went along with the, the uh, the same contract, the same group. So he'll we will be sharing this one person through um, with Conway. Um, and the Clef Club 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 Club, the ARPA funds, right. it's just easier. Mm -hmm. uh, the annual report was due April 30th and that has been submitted. Uh, so uh, the next step is to think about the additional projects and the finance committee is meeting on uh, capital planning items tonight. So we might be able to uh, kind of tackle those as part of the ARPA funds. The water department, there really isn't an update. It is being very carefully watched as far as um, how much money they have left in their budget. And um, uh, the right now, the finance committee and the uh, and Dara, the town accountant, have agreed to run the account in a deficit under the salary line mm -hmm. with the stipulation that there's going to be a transfer, an interdepartmental transfer from their operating budget into their their salary line, okay. which hoping that it will cover it at this point in time. But Dara is keeping a very detailed um, listing on all the revenues and everything that are coming in and what's been going out. And so that, that transfer can be made what in the last two months yeah, of the year. Yeah. Without and, without and in further the fifteen approval. days. It's a, a the interdepartmental transfers are done by a combination of select board and finance committee. Mm -hmm. So we will have those together. Um you can do it the last two months or the first fifteen days mm -hmm. in the next fiscal year. Because okay. sometimes you don't have those total mm -hmm. bottom lines. Yeah. Um so that's the water department. In the packet, there's a few letters that um, went along with grant applications that uh, Sylvie just um, applied for. So uh, I don't know if she wants to just say any more on those letters or, or not. Yeah, I think we, we've already, You've already seen, seen, seen the and and yeah, and okay stuff. Yeah. yeah, right. So those were for the um, Art Family Fund for Small Town Grant Application, the Deerfield uh, a support le letter for the Deerfield MVP, and then a support letter for Waitley MVP grants. And, and the Hart Family Foundation is for potential grant for center schools. Right. Center schools. Yeah, I forgot one because um, I just did it earlier today, but yeah, that one's for um, <clears throat> the center school um, to hire a consultant for a feasibility study. Cool. Okay. okay. Um, um, else? I don't think so. Um, so and executive, we let will me go get Trisha. 
I have a motion to move into executive session, discuss contract negotiation with non union personnel, specifically the account administrator employment. Second. Vote, Joyce. To move Aye. to executive. Julie. Aye. Aye. Okay. We will go into executive session as soon as. Oh. Yeah, let's get Trish in and. Trish will get here. We do. So, I think when we go into sorry. executive session, we have to say whether or not we're going to come back out. We we will be we will regulars. be coming we will be coming back. This should not be a particularly long executive session session, but we will be coming I'll back. So we will. We will. Uh, yeah, Trish, Trisha will know what to do with the Zoom. To, right. <laughs> yeah, but Chris, you've got to be off during the executive yeah, session. I can. I can just. Text you tomorrow and we can talk. It's fine, fine. by me. Okay. 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 All righty. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Good night, Chris. Hey, good night, Chris. Hello. 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 Okay. Uh, I think Sylvie has to jump off as well. And do we need yeah. to stop recording? We have to stop recording. Oh. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Sylvie. Thank you, Sylvie. <laughs> Hi, Thanks, Sylvie. We'll pause. Okay, back in open session. We on the agenda we have to vote on the town administrator employment agreement, which was discussed in executive session for S. Peter Kane, who we hope to be our new town administrator. Uh, I will move we approve the contract as submitted, subject to any technical corrections, editing that might be necessary. Second. Any further discussion? Have a vote, duly. Yes. Joyce. Aye. Yes. Okay. We have that. And I, and I, will, move, I will move to adjourn. Uh, oh, sorry, second. before we adjourn. Uh, nope. We have next meeting. May 14th, May 28th. We have a scheduled meeting, which would be for June 11th, but that's election day, so we can't have a meeting that day to come up with a, a different date for that first June meeting. Okay. Um, yeah. we, we don't necessarily have to do that now, but we just have to know that we need to have an alternate date for our first meeting in June. Uh, okay. Okay. That will be our last meeting before annual town meeting. Okay. Well, I would take advice from our interim town administrators as to whether having a meeting before town meeting might be better than having one a week out. Um, it depends, okay. I guess, on or, if the like, warrant anyway. is totally up on the 28th, if we have everything set for the warrant. If the warrant is not quite ready, uh, maybe it you could do a Monday or something before that, or um, because it would need a week to be posted mm -hmm. before the town meeting. Right. So, okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. So, well, we, we, at either the May 14th or May 28th meeting, we yeah. can set a date. We're pretty okay. sure the 28th, um, we should have the warrant pretty okay. much set. But so, also, okay. if anything else comes up, that yeah. means we should have a meeting. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there that our usual meeting date is no good for that slot. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I will move. We adjourn. I'll second that. Vote, Joyce. Aye. Julie. Aye. Aye. We are adjourned.